Hey everyone, it's Zara, and I'm going to be filming a haul today. So far I have four orders, and I usually film my hauls in different segments because I like to use the stickers, and I try not to order too many things throughout the month, so usually I try to, you know, combine as many orders as possible into one video, but uh, you'll probably see my nail polish change throughout the video. Um, if I put nail polish back on. We got manicures last weekend, or this last weekend, and so, um, anyways, that's just beside the point. The first order here is from 472 in Maine, and I did get a couple of freebies with my order, like so, just little functional freebies. This one is just a blue color, and this one has kind of the, the same blue, but a couple of different um, sparkly colors and then this one I feel like this one might have been with one of her um fall kits because I feel like I've had this kit before um but just a couple of little freebies in the order I like her freebies because they are pretty functional I usually get good use out of them um you know with the happy mail sticker oh it's Monday computer and then some labels I'm um, pretty good and then here is my freebie, although my freebie is changing, so the next time you order, or if you order with my code, you'll probably get my newest freebie, um, which I'll show you um, maybe in this haul um, near the end of it. I should be placing another order because she's in a sale this week. Um, so I'll, I'll show you that one when it, when it gets here, um, but it's gonna be Alice in Wonderland theme. Uh, this one is my birthday freebie. Um, or birthday themed freebie since this came out around January when my birthday was going on. And then I have a couple of functional sheets and two kits in this order. So the first thing I reordered these film slates. I love them. They're nice and little uh, for putting into my, you know, task list or marking down videos. I, I just find them really functional and I'm down to, I think I've used up most of the colors. I think I'm down to kind of like grays and just a couple of other, um, you know, miscellaneous colors, um, but I was getting low. So I needed to reorder these. Then she came out with some new um, kind of gym workout functional stickers. So the first one are these little gym time bags. And I thought these would just be really great for marking, obviously going to the gym. Then we have these cute little sports bras, just pink and gray. So I thought that would match a lot of spreads. And then we have these headphones, which I thought you could use for working out, but I will probably use them right now. In February, I'm doing, in January, I done a 30 day yoga challenge. In February, I am doing just like listening to mu new music every day. And so I thought this would be really good to use. I'm going through Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone Magazine's top 50 albums of all time, and that's what I'm listening to in the month of February. Um, I'm about halfway done right now, but getting a lot of good music, um, and I thought this would be good for things like that, you know, listening to music, or if a new album is coming out, new CD, um, I thought these would be really cute to mark that. And then we have these ones. I think these are great. They're um, like a little dumbbell and then, is it a dumbbell? Um, and then the workout script. Um, so I thought these would be really good and obviously gray is really neutral. So that was all of those. Then I got her, she has a, a custom, you know, script stickers in her shop and so I had gotten some script stickers that I had been needing um, and I like it too because you can get a lot of variety on the sheet and so I think she lets you choose up to nine don't quote me on it but I think it's nine um, I obviously chose four uh, phrases or words um, so I did gym because sometimes I like to Sometimes I, I have a lot of workout stickers, um, but it's nice to have some gym stickers to say specifically to go to the gym versus just working out at home or doing yoga. Um, and then I did study because I have a lot of studying going on right now, um, reading and then anti-time. Um, and I thought anti-time would be great for when I go back to visit my niece and nephew. I don't see them very often, so I didn't really need a whole sheet right now. Um, I'm hoping to move closer to them so I can see them more often, um, but for now I just thought that was perfect, um, the perfect amount of them. So that was 
that. And then moving into the kits, the first kit is called Limit. Um, you have the same freebie kind of setup as before, but obviously with the artwork for this kit. Then you have this little, I got the mini kit format, so um, you get some extra functional stickers um, that would be in the full kit, but um, you get them on this nice little, little sampler for the mini kit. And um, then I got the Erin uh, Condren washi, and I think it's really cute. I love the colors in this kit, very different. Then we have the full boxes, and it says your only limit is you. Um, and a couple of quarter boxes. Then we have some um, appointment, or not appointment labels, checklist flags, some labels, or some labels and flags, teardrops, icons, and then canceled stickers. Then we have a bunch of half boxes and some other sidebar and functional stickers. Um, and then you have two different weekend banners, just depending on what planner you use and you know what sizing you want. Um, like the little weekend banner would be really perfect for a uh, traveler's notebook if you don't want to take up a lot of room or if you have a traveler's notebook where the weekend is stacked so that is everything for the limit kit and then the next kit I have is her Utah kit I love Kate's photo kits she has beautiful photography kits in her shop and she actually um around Christmas New Year's went to Utah and she had a lot of fun on all of her adventures, so she decided to make a kit with the pictures that she used. And so I thought this was just to be really fun, um, especially, I don't, I live near Utah, I'm, I live in Idaho. Um, and so I thought that'd be fun if I ever take a trip to Utah um, or go down and see all the sites um, to kind of save it for that. Um, so then first things first is the freebie, same setup, I got the same mini kit format, but obviously colors um, are for this kit. Um, very, very pretty washi. And then we have the full boxes. Very gorgeous. I love um, all of the red rocks and um, oh, I don't know what, what kind of stone this is, but I just think they're really pretty. You see them a lot in you know Arizona, Southern Utah, um, New Mexico, things like that. Then we have same setup, appointment labels, flags, functional items, and then some sidebar stickers and other stickers. So very good. I love her kits. So um, that was everything I had from 472 in Maine. I do have a coupon code from her shop down below if you are interested. Um, and then like I said, if you order with me with my code and mention my name, then you get a freebie, although it'll be a different one than this one. So that was everything from 472 in Maine. And then next up, I'm going to have an order from L Plan. I think it's L, just L Plan, not L Plans. Um, and she's a Canadian shop and I ordered during the PBC sale. So this is my PBC order. So the first thing I got was this little freebie from her shop. She has these really cute little banners and like these scallop, you know, almost like doily um, banners. I don't even know what you call it, um, but they're super cute. I got a whole bunch of them. Um, although picking colors is kind of hard, I think. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, and just some other functional stickers. And then we have this little freebie from Paper Kumiko. I got another one of these freebies in another one of my orders. Like I said, I think it's super cute. I love the little milk carton outline. I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for, but I still think it's really cute and I'll hold on to it. And then I have this one from XL Mama Plans. I have like totally fallen in love with her stickers. I think they're just so cute. Then we have Planner Frenzy. I always love ordering from Planner Frenzy. She has a lot of great functional stuff. Um, then we have a little TLC Designs. Very cute. She was also in the PVC sale, but I didn't order from her shop, um, at least not this time around. And then I had a couple of different airplane trackers. I think she had them in three or four different colors. Um, and I liked these ones. Um, they were a little big. I kind of want airplane trackers that are skinnier. Um, but I liked this one because it had all of the kind of information I needed, um, you know, destination, flight number, um, you know, 
departure arrival. Um, so it had all the, the essential information on it. Um, so I think I got it in either teal or blue, whatever color that is, and then gray. And then I got this. Uh, this one is a Lois, a Lola, lace doily banner. Um, very cute. And then you have this other lace doily banner, but it's a little bit different pattern. And then I got a, a four sheets of her little... Um, I don't even know what you call them, scallop, doily, um, things. And <laughs> the thing with hers is they're all very different. Um, you know, like they're different color schemes and they all have, like this one's winter coat. Um, and I think they're all really cute, but it was so hard to pick. I wish, um, I kind of wish she had, you know, just a, you know, a pink sheet, green, you know, just, make it easy because a lot of the colors I couldn't really tell what the difference would be or would I use that color versus that color. So I tried to pick ones that I would use the most. Um, so those were the ones that I picked up. But um, this winter coat is a nice neutral one. Um, kind of just varying shades of gray, tan, and then kind of like almost a blackish color. So very nice. That was my first order from Elle Plan. Um, and like I said, she's in Canada. And then another PVC order that I have, I think this is actually my last PVC order, um, is from Pumpkin Paper Co. So I always love getting her Terras, and I originally, I wasn't going to order, and um, it's going to be not good and all that. Uh, but then I ended up placing an order on like Sunday night at the PVC sale, um, and so it did take a little bit longer because obviously I placed it at the end of the sale, and... Um, she had a lot of orders during the weekend, um, but the first thing I got in my order was my little um, journaling, it's kind of like a journaling card, but it's also like you could literally send this as a postcard. Um, so I think that's really cute and functional. Then I got, I always get them in the dark brown hair color. Um, this was her newest sampler, I guess. Um, so it had a lot of stickers that she's released in 2017, um, and I just thought that would be really cute. Um, you know, maybe some stickers that I don't use as often or don't need a whole sheet of, um, but I like these samplers for the times when I, you know, need that, you know, nurse sticker or um, bank robber, things like that. I just think they're fun. Um, and then I picked up a couple of other full sheets. I got this one with a little package on another one of her samplers. Um, she had had this sticker and I used it when I was moving. Um, and so since I have a couple of moves in 2018 predicted, um, I thought these would just be good for, you know, packing for moving, actually moving. Um, and then obviously they're, um, or maybe not obviously, but they're intended to be like, mailing a package um, and so I thought you know then once I'm done with moves and all that um, then mailing packages <laughs> then I picked up this one I thought this was just really cute um, I've used this one too and I really liked it and just kind of like a sleeping or tired Tara then we have this one where she's running um, and I I don't know if that I'll actually run but um, it was kind of one of my goals for this year to, you know, run a mile, and that may not sound very exciting, but I hate running, um, or impressive, but I hate running, so I thought these ones might like, make me want to do it, and if nothing else, I do walk on the treadmill a lot at the gym, so I thought these would be good for that too, um, and then I got yoga because I think I've been doing a lot of yoga, more yoga than I've done in the past um, and I thought that would be cute for that um, and then I got these cute little uh, laptop stickers for the last sheet um, just for general working on stuff studying um, I just thought it would be cute so that was everything from Pumpkin Paper Co and then the last thing I have for right now um, is an order from EBGB um, and then Hopefully I'll be getting some more orders, um, you know, to tack on after this one. Um, but the first thing I have is this little freebie. I love um, her oh, doodle boxes. That's what she calls them. And so I love her doodle boxes. I love it when I get them on freebies um, because I, oh, I never want to use them. But I should just keep using them all the time and just order more and order more. Um, and then the cute little weekend banner and some other little deco 
So then we have a couple of little script stickers, font stickers. Um, this one is just in her gray or storm, stormy, storm uh, colorway, and it is uh, work. And I thought these would be good even for the sidebar, just as a wicker work cutter for some to do's um, or for using a spread. Um, you know, gray goes with pretty much anything. And then we have to do, and I thought this would be a good header uh, for the, like a traveler's notebook or whatnot. And then I got this kit. I can't remember what it's called, but I thought it was super gorgeous. And I've been watching so many um, plan with me's with Nikki plus three, and she uses a lot of floral kits. And so I just was totally in the mood to get like floral and wood and kind of. I don't even know what you call it but that kind of style where it's just kind of um, I don't even know if eclectic is the right word but um, anyways floral wood pretty kit um, and so I thought this one would be perfect these are the full boxes and then you have this page with a whole bunch of uh, appointment labels half boxes and then some patterned half boxes you have some really cute deco, um, payday, date night, planning time, bill do, little things, weekend banner at the bottom, this gorgeous washi. Oh, I love this washi. And it's so vibrant. Um, I get them at, I don't know if she has glossy, but I always get them at, regardless of what shop I'm at. Um, and then I have uh, the date covers, which are also really pretty. And I love the date numbers because it's um, not just a white number, you know, it, pretty with the floral and then just the gray. Uh, then we have some checklists and then some rescheduled stickers at the bottom. We have a whole bunch of little checklists, headers, and then some mini checklists. So I love this kit. I love the colors. I love really just everything about it. Um, and so I did get the full kit and I'm hoping that I'll be using it pretty soon. Um, but that was everything from EBGB. I do have a coupon code for her shop down below if you're interested. Um, but that was my order. My next order is from Prickled Pear Studio. And I have a lot of goodies here. So first thing I have is her business card. And it's really cute and shimmery. Um, would be really cute to put in like a traveler's notebook spread. And then the info on the back. Then I ordered during one of her sales, I think it was the Planner Nerds United sale or something like that. Um, and so this was the little freebie that she was doing for that sale. And it has a whole bunch of cute little prickles and uh, just doing all sorts of different things like shaving and, um, you know, in a takeout box, watching a movie, mug life, etc. Then I have my new sampler from uh, Prickle Pear Studio. So this is, if you use my code and mention my name, this is the sampler you get now at Prickle Pear Studio. And I have some really cute prickles and then a couple of doodles as well. Then this was the Facebook group freebie. She does these during sales, like big sales. Um, and so there's just some cute little labels and some more prickled stickers. I love the little cell phone. It says 8675309, which is, um, it just reminds me of the song. So, I mean, obviously. So <laughs> there's that. Um, and then the last little freebie was a little March calendar, which will be great for sticking in my traveler's notebook. So now moving on to what I ordered. I ordered a couple of doodles and then a couple of kits and a monthly kit. So. First things first is this adorable Harry Potter like studying book stack. And so it has like charms, potions, herbology, magic 101, um, and then like a book stack like that, charms, runes, potions. There's like a little coffee cup um, with a lightning bolt and like glasses, a chocolate frog box, birdie bots, every flavor beans, and then some like scrolls and, or parchment and, um, a quill so it's super cute it's super you know Harry Potter ish obviously but it's really cute I only ordered one cheap but I definitely will go back 
and get more because like I said I have a lot of studying that I'm doing right now for school and these are just super cute. And then I also ordered her stethoscopes. I just thought these were cute for marking down work or you know studying things like that and I liked the little heart. Um, oh I can't even think of the name of it right now but the little heartbeat um, in the middle of it. And then I got one more sheet of prickles. This one is the new like movie night prickles. And I thought it was cute with prickles on the couch. And then also I love these little um, admit one tickets for actually going to a movie. I thought that would be really cute. So then I have my monthly kit. And this one, you can tell her what month you want. And she'll send you this little sticker. So it says May on it that you can put in it um, because the... Um, the little booklets are um, made just for any month. So the little sticker to put in, if that makes sense. So uh, this one, I loved it. It's called the Oh, you'll Pla oh The Places You'll Go. And she has it in a, a weekly kit as well. Um, and it's kind of a graduation um, themed, but it's also, um, what is that called? Dr. Seuss themed. And so it's really, really cute. Um, and since I already have a couple of weekly kits, I thought the monthly kit would be perfect because I've actually never seen um, a graduation themed monthly kit. And as you know, or you might not know, I'm graduating this year and I'm so freaking excited. Everything, everywhere you go is gonna be graduation themed in my planner for at least that week, if not more. So here is the booklet um, and this is um, just a like two page um, booklet so it's nice and easy to stick in your planner and um, and I don't know it's just a really cool way to keep all the stickers together in one place um, instead of having different sheets to kind of keep track of so you have oh the places you'll go and it has a little graduation person graduate um, and then you have the date cover date strips and then you have some cute little like washi strips um, or headers uh, then you have some half boxes. Oh, this is backwards. You have some half boxes, uh, or not half boxes, quarter boxes, um, some little labels, some more headers, um, and then you have a whole bunch of little date dots. And what are these? Um, like day off payday um, little flags. So it's super duper cute. I love this little kit. I think it'll be perfect for my graduation um, and the month of May. So that was everything oh, for, for that. I still have two more kits though. So then I have um, all of her kits are now coming in these little booklets. And so very easy way to keep track of them. She has a mini kit format and then she has, or like a pocket kit format and then uh, just a full kit format. So, and then I think you can add on a washi sheet and um, that has some functional stickers and then like bottom washi. So this one's Love Story, and I had to pick it up for obvious reasons. It has Taylor Swift song lyrics in it, and it's really cute. This would've been really cute for um, Valentine's Day, but it's also not Valentine's specific, and so I liked that. Um, oh, I just thought of it. I am going to see Taylor Swift in concert in May, and maybe I'll use this one for it, because um, I, I was kind of thinking of what kits I want to use, and. Um, this one would be a good one even though it's like not really travel themed and it's very light and airy um, that one might be a good time to use it or maybe just using it in spring and um, then the next page has some half boxes quarter boxes sidebar stickers um, appointment label or not uh, habit trackers and then you have date covers some checklists um, little labels up here hello weekend laundry and then we have some little things some little header size washi strips, um, more headers, and then some bill dues. So super duper cute. Um, and like I said, I like the format because it's very compact and easy to kind of carry around. Um, and then the last one I got was Peaceful Blooms. So it's gonna be the same format, um, but very, very cute. I love these full boxes. I love the colors in this kit too. Um, very nice. And then the last page, so very cute definitely will be using this hopefully in spring because um, I think these colors just work really well for spring but I could even save it for summer if I wanted to so that was everything I had from Prickled Pear Studio I do have a 
coupon code for her shop down below if you are interested. But that was everything. Next up, I have an order from Green Darner Designs. And the first thing I have is this little butterfly die cut. I think this would be a really cute in a spring setup. Then she also sent this little shamrock freebie, which is really cute. Then I have just the regular order freebie. I love all of the green, the little, um, this is her new character, Dudley. Um, and then you still have Pearl, um, but Dudley's the dinosaur. And I love this one where he's kind of in some shopping bags. And then you have my freebie, which is really fun as well for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I love this one that says shopping is my cardio, especially because I don't love cardio. <laughs> like, definitely shopping is preferred. Um, and then moving on to my order. Actually, I had one more thing that she had sent me. Um, I'm graduating in May, and so she had released this countdown after I had ordered. And then she threw to my order because she's super sweet, um, but it counts down 14 days all the way to graduation day. So cannot wait to use this. And I was thinking about it and um, honestly, I'm going to be putting graduation countdowns in every planner, in every spread. <laughs> like There's going to be graduation countdowns left, right, and backwards um, because I'm so excited to graduate and I also have quite a few uh, graduation countdowns um, coming or either already in my possession. So you'll see a lot of graduation countdowns soon. Then I ordered the Snow Sports Pearl. Uh, she had one that was curling and I thought about ordering that one, but I didn't because um, honestly I don't get curling uh, like on my TV. I have to go to the gym to see curling um, and I loved love curling. Um, I actually just got back from the gym and I just got done watching some. But uh, I ordered this one because it has snowshoeing and skiing and I thought those were pretty generic. Like I don't even think there's Olympic snowshoeing but I still thought it was wintry enough um, and generic enough to use for kind of any winter sport. Um, and so uh, I, and I was hoping it might arrive before the end of the Olympics and by golly it did. So I wanted to film this before I planned the last week um, of the Olympics because I'll probably try to pull some of these in um, and then also in my memory spreads kind of using some of these as well for the Olympics and then saving whatever ones that I have left for next year um, or even just for next winter for winter sports or winter activities. Then I got this sheet of Under the Weather Pearls. I realized I don't really have any you know, sick day stickers, and so I thought this would just be fun to pick up. I also got this one of injured pearls, and I feel like she looks so sad, um, but I thought this would be good as well, just for, you know, kind of those unexpected times. Um, like one day, I, I totally biffed it, um, you know, walking in the parking lot. I was having, uh, you know, one of those moments where, I don't know, you're just trying to glide and walk and look all wonderful. And then there was like a little pothole that I did not see. So that would have been perfect to have something like this for, for those random um, unpredictable events. And then I got two monthly kits. So the first monthly kit I have is called Lady Luck and it's ladybug themed. And I love, love, love Shelly's uh, monthly kits and so this one was for March and I realized I hadn't ordered a March kit, so it was perfect to order this one. Um, and then you have your dates, um, Hello March, and then some script stickers and a little ladybug, ladybug deco. Then you have your, your sidebar, which is just one whole piece. Um, you have the other side of the headers um, and then a bunch of bill due and paydays. You have this really cute ladybug banner. It's all one sticker. Um, so I think that'd be really cute to mark a really special day. Um, you also have a ladybug flag. And then you have um, St. Patrick's Day, Good Friday, and then a bunch of labels and half boxes. And then you have some icons um, to use as well. So very, very cute. I cannot wait to use this. And that's another reason why I wanted to film this haul um, or this part of the haul. Like I got this order today, I filmed it obviously right now today. Um, and so I could start using this. And then I also picked up the April kit while I was at it uh, because I don't have an April kit yet. And I thought, well, I love 
love it. So I'm gonna order it one way or the other. Um, so I just ordered it early. Um, so once again, you have the date covers, you have some more headers, some deco down here. Um, this covers up the days that are not in the month. Then you have the other header, so it says hello April, um, bill due paydays, and then some flags. You also have the sidebar piece over there. Um, then you have Easter, and then just a whole bunch of labels and half boxes. Then you have the same kind of functional deco as before. And this one's called Cherry Blossom, but it's super duper cute. So um, I love the pink shades, um, and I always love her monthly kits. Um, so that was everything I had from Green Darner Designs. I do have a coupon code for her shop down below, and when you order from her shop, um, if you mention my name, then you also get my freebie that I just showed. Um, and it changes month to month. So this is the freebie for March, but it'll change, or for February, and then it'll change for March. Um, but that was everything from Green Darner Design. So next up, I have my mystery kit from the Paperly Boutique for whatever month this was, January, February? February, it must have been February. Um, so if you don't wanna see it, uh, you know, you can skip ahead, but I think everyone should have gotten it by now. So here is the kit. Um, I did have, two, there were two featured shops this month. So you had the yellow key, which had this really cute paper clip. It's a rose um, with like a little bow and a unicorn horn. And so it, it's a unicorn themed kit. And so it's like perfect, um, just really perfect. So very cute. Oops. Um, and I like it because it's nice and little and it, it'd be perfect in my traveler's notebook. Um, wouldn't hang out too much. So like that. And then the other shop was the Sweet Sweet Fox Papery, and so it's like a you know foldable, uh, it, almost like an insert kit. Um, if you had you know a traveler's notebook, um, my traveler's notebook is a little bit smaller, so I wouldn't be able to stick it in there. But um, it's still really nice to kind of keep together. You can put it in the back of the Aaron Condren. Um, you know, we're just keeping it together. So you have three more full boxes, a weekly um, tracker, some headers, some blank headers, some little washi strips, deco, icons, checklists, more boxes, another sidebar sticker, um, and then some little uh, text stickers, cut out text. Um, so I think this would be really cute. Really, this is a nice traveler's notebook kit. I could probably you know, almost just use this in my traveler's notebook. Um, but I always have so many leftovers from the full kit that it, I'll probably, you know, combine them all and use them. Um, but I'll probably have a lot of leftovers with this one. I could probably get three spreads out of it. So now moving on to Alex's kit. Uh, the first thing that I have here is the freebie. And it has a full box, two half boxes, two appointment labels, and a new releases sticker. Then we have these gorgeous full boxes. I'm kind of debating when I want to use this. Um, I thought about using it maybe for my niece's birthday, but it seems like so far away. And so I might end up just using it in spring um, just for a random week because it'll make me happy. So <laughs> there's that. And then we have the full box checklist. Then you have this little quote box that says, do more of what makes you sparkle. Um, and then a whole bunch of functional stickers, sidebar stickers, headers, checklist, weekend banner. And then you have a whole bunch of boxes and appointment labels. Then you have icons, cutout icons, um, headers, payday, um, another habit tracker. Then you have headers and little things. And then you have washi. Um, and then one thing I'll mention, um, Alex accidentally sent these out without putting in the date covers and glitter headers um, that she always includes with her kits um, or her full kits for her mystery box. Um, but she was so amazing. She emailed everyone and you know gave us the option of sending them along you know right away um, or you know getting credit or a refund um, you know whatever worked. Um, so I'll be getting those um, later. I told her, you know, no rush for me because um, I place enough orders with her shop. Uh, I told her she could just stick it in with another order. Um, she didn't have to pay for like another um, envelope and shipping and all that. Um, but it was just amazing customer service as always. Um, 
and you know even though it was like a little mistake um, she did an amazing job remedying it um, and so I just wanted to give her like a little shout out um, but I wanted to haul this kit because I like to put things away and um, anyways so then I'll, I'll be getting those um, soon so that was everything from the paperly boutique so next I have a like giant enormous stack from Jalen Paper Co. I it's literally enormous. The stuff I ordered is like this little stack and then the stuff that she sent was the rest of it and so I am a member of her um, PR team and so um, you know obviously she sent me a ton of extra goodies for that but still it was like crazy. So anyways um, I'll show you what I ordered first and then I'll show you what I got from her after. So but it's, it's massive. So I'll try to talk fast so it doesn't take forever. Um, but the first thing I got um, was this little freebie. This was her December freebie. I had actually placed my order in December, but then the post office lost my order. Um, and yeah, you know, so she still sent um, this freebie when she resent my order. Um, and I think it's really cute. I love the um, Dobby and he has like a pile of socks um, and he looks so excited, um, but all sorts of cute red icons and deco. Um, and I've mentioned it before, but I love her freebies. I think they're super functional and she cramps so much in them. Then I also got, we'll grab these first. Um, she has these Harry Potter calendar die cuts. And so I got the the whole year's set. I think you can buy them. I don't know if you can buy them individually, but I think you can buy them in like smaller sets. You can buy them in different sizes. You can buy them as a die cut or you can buy them as a sticker. Um, there's a lot of different options there, but you have like January is Snape. And then you have um, this one, I think, is that Hermione maybe? Um, and then it's a uh, love potion for February. Then you have, I think that's Ron, and he's eating a birdie bats every flavor bean, and it's March. Then you have the Weasley twins, and they're about to set off like a dung bomb or something. Then you have Dobie for May, and he has a little sock. Then you have Malfoy for June, and he's on a broom. Then for July, you have Harry and Hedwig. Then for August, you have Neville and the Sorting Hat. Then you have Hermione and Crookshanks for September. And then you have Professor McGonagall for October. And then you have Nagini and Voldemort for November. And you have Dumbledore making his list for December. So it's super duper cute. I love, love, love these. Um, and I will definitely be just hoarding them forever even after the months are over. Um, I just think they're so cute. So um, that was that. Um, and then I also ordered a bunch of her Harry Potter icons um, because I'm obsessed and I love them. Um, and she had redone a lot of her character sheets and um, when I had bought them the first time like last year when I discovered her shop, um, she had been using some clip art Harry Potter stickers, um, but now she does, has a whole bunch of hand-drawn Harry Potter stickers and, and all sorts of other character stickers as well. Um, so the first thing I got were all of these little tiny icons. Um, she does have different sizes. She has tiny, small, and medium. Um, and so you'll kind of see throughout. I think I have examples of each. Um, but for tiny, um, these ones are just perfect. I think they're great for putting in like a little quarter box. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of different ones. So there's like Malfoy is a ferret and the Slytherin crest and um, platform nine and three quarters, Veritaserum. I mean, just a whole bunch of cute little icons. The little butterbeer mug is super adorable. Um, I love that. Then you have them in the Gryffindor icons. Um, so some different ones, like you have the spew badges, <laughs> nod to Hermione. Um, you know, you have Professor McGonagall. Um, you have some that repeat that are just now Gryffindor themed, um, Hedwig, um, and then ones that are specific obviously for the house. Then you have the Hufflepuff ones. So you have like Support Cedric Diggory. You have the Mimbulus Mimbletonia. Um, just a whole bunch of really cute ones. 
um, a Yule Ball ticket. Um, then you have Ravenclaw, you have some Luna ones, um, you know, like her little um, Spectre Specs, her little earrings. Um, you have the, oh, what are those called? Um, I don't know. You have a whole bunch of different little icons, the Quibbler, etc. So very, very cute. Then I have a whole bunch of character stickers, and these ones are in the small version. Um, so you have, this one is kind of like a Christmas theme, so you have like Hermione in her Yule Ball dress. Actually, all of them are in their Yule Ball outfits. Um, and they have like little presents and hats. Um, you have Dobie, like we mentioned earlier, um, Snape, um, Hagrid, um, just all sorts of cute little Christmassy ones. And um, then you have, these ones are like the Death Eaters or kind of like evil character sheets. Um, so you have like Voldemort, Rita Skeeter, um, Bellatrix, uh, uh, Death Eater, or not a Death Eater, a um, ba -ba -ba, Dementor. Um, then we have the Weasleys. So we have Arthur and Molly, um, we have Ginny, um, all of them in here. I love this one, Fred or George, with the um, extendable ear. There's so many cute little details in these that it's just amazing. Um, then we have, this one has kind of some miscellaneous characters. So you have Crumb, Fleur, Moaning Myrtle, um, Tonks, Mad-Eye Moody. Then you have the professors. So you have um, Professor Trelawney, you have Lockhart, Dumbledore, um, Flitwick. Adam Hooch, all sorts of cute ones. And then you have kind of the main characters, so Harry, Hermione, Ron, Luna, um, then you have Neville with little Trevor, um, you have Ginny again, um, Cho, and Cedric over here. Cedric looks kind of sad. Um, but those were all of the ones that I had ordered, um, and like I said, in the small version. So then I had also, so like moving on to the rest of this is all stuff that she included. Um, so I had two bookmarks here. I have another one hanging around, but I'll show you that one in a minute. Um, this one is a little unicorn eating or drinking uh, coffee or hot chocolate. And then we have a little sloth eating a pizza. Um, and then one thing with all of Jalen Paper Co.'s um, orders is that you have this little card and you can you get a little um, sticker on the freebie uh, somewhere let's grab it off Adobe um, you have the little sticker with the bumblebee logo um, and then you stick them on here and once you fill it up you get a $10 shop credit I do have um, with this order um, I had finished my card that I had been saving for um, since I started buying from her shop so it's super exciting um, then I got a whole bunch of little freebies. So um, she had done like some shop swaps samplers um, and I had actually gotten one of these, one or two of them in the PVC sale. Um, so then uh, she had sent, must have had a different variety that she had been sending out and so she sent one of each. Um, and then these are Sailor Moon themed. I will admit I have not seen Sailor Moon yet, but I have some really cute Sailor Moon stickers that she sent me. And I just found out, or I think, um, I had looked on Hulu and it said that it's, it's on there. So I am going to try to, after the Olympics are over, um, maybe watch some Sailor Moon so I can use all of these stickers with, you know, knowledge and, uh, you know, kind of know what it's all about. Because um, obviously they're, they're just stink really stinking adorable regardless, but um, it'd be nice to use them for you know, like knowing the characters. Um, so this one's gonna be green. And then we have this like yellow orange one. And then we have this one. I love this one where she's like curled up on a pillow, just ready to go to sleep. Um, then we have this blue one and then a red one. Very cute. I like this one for like a, almost a, like a scentsy or, or, you know, candle warmer, candle or wax warmer. And then I got this little freebie with the Jalen Paper Co. logo. These will be really cute. I love her little logo um, to mark down like when I get orders in because um, they're holding a bunch of stickers. And then I have this little sampler. Um, this one, I don't think she's released these yet in her shop, but these are her character stickers that she's working on um, that'll be released sometime and obviously customizable to different hair tones and 
um, hair hair colors and skin tones. Um, but I think they're really cute and I love the, the little variety of them. Um, I had gotten mine, obviously, brunette pale because um, that's the most like me. Then I have a whole stack of these. These are my freebies. I love my freebies. So um, you have um, some of my favorite character stickers, um, some Harry Potter deco, sushi. Um, I love her little water bottle icons. Um, then you have like a little uh, martini, um, more Harry Potter. Then you have this little cereal bowl. I think it's so cute. Um, and then a gym sticker. So I have a whole stack of them. So I'll have to give those out um, to people. So then I have a whole whole stack of other uh, like quarter size sticker sheets in our shop. Um, so we have this one, which is all um, unicorn themed. I love this little Moana unicorn. My niece is obsessed with Moana. And so I might have to save this to mark, you know, some sort of event with her. Um, but you have all sorts of cute ones. Like you have Belle, um, Alice in Wonderland, Princess Leia. Um, that one kind of looks like a uh, little red riding hood, um, you know, like a wizard or Hermione. Um, so super duper cute. Then we have these cute little pandas doing a variety of activities. I love the little one riding in the car. Oh, and studying too. That one's really cute. And um, then we have this cute little male icon sampler. Um, and so you have like stamps and packages. I think this would be really good for moving as well because I am moving soon-ish. Um, and so that would be really good for that. And um, then we have some cute little workout icons. I love the little um, ball. Um, that's really cute. Then we have this one. I actually have, uh, how was she did this? Um, she had included it in a um, mystery box like maybe April or spring last year. Um, and so I love this one. I'd used this one. I'd gone to like a bunch of art events and I loved it and I used both of them up. Um, so I'm excited to have more of these, but just cute little bunnies. Then we have some cute little penguins doing activities. I love the one with the ice cream. I can never have enough ice cream stickers. Um, nope. Then we have a cute one with cats. Again, very, very cute. I love the little cat wearing the scarf. Then we have some cute little mermaid ones. This will be really fun for summer. Um, and I love this one that has like the no spend. I think that'd be cute for putting in the sidebar, like a good, um, you know, horizontal sticker. Then I have Hunger Games stickers. Um, so these ones, so you have like Katniss, Peeta, um, Gale, um, just kind of a whole, a variety of stickers, um, President Snow. Then you have, these are the Gilmore Girls. Um, so you're gonna have, um, you know, Rory, Lorelai, and the crew. And then I have some repeats of some of my Harry Potter ones that I had shown um, earlier. Then we have cute little pugs doing things. I love the little pug with pizza. And these pugs have like really cute long eyelashes. I can't know if you can tell, um, but they're really cute. Then you have this little rainbow one. I love these little banners for marking down like birthdays or, or something like that. Um, this one I want, I think it's a whale, but I, when I first saw it, I thought it was almost a manatee and that would have been incredibly perfect. Um, but very cute, very rainbow. Then you have these little dice. Um, I know one of my friends loves, like she collects these dice. So I'm debating whether or not I wanna keep it or give it to her, um, but these are super cute. Then you have um, money, so you have like money icons, money bags, purses, little piggy banks, and bills. Then you have this one, which is a beer sampler, which is really good because I'm I don't drink beer really, but we whenever I go to breweries or things like that, I always like to mark them. And then this one is really cute. These are her book icons. I almost picked these up. Um, but I knew this order was coming to me, so I, I was like, oh, I'll wait and um, pick it up in my next order. <laughs> but she sent it to me, so that was perfect. Um, perfect for studying and reading and all of that good stuff. Um, then I have a couple of balloon stickers. This one is kind of like a pink, red, purple. Um, and then this one is blue. Then we have a whole bunch of donuts and other, you know, pastries. <laughs> and we have these cute little peeps. This will be cute for Easter. Then we have cute little hearts. 
and more like Easter stickers, bunnies, peeps, Easter basket, flowers. Then we have this really cute sheet. This is perfect for birthdays. You have balloons and presents and cake, cupcakes. And then you have these cute little potion stickers. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. I could use it for even like baths or things like that. Um, I mean, you really could probably use it for anything, but it's really cute. I like it a lot. And then you have bath bombs, which are super duper cute. I think I wanna order these in the tiny ones as well because um, these are kind of large um, for using for every bath, but I really love them. And then getting into kits. Ooh, this is gonna be a long one, but I'll try to like go through the first kit more in depth and then the rest not as in depth maybe. So this one is her Sleeping Beauty kit. It's called Once Upon a Dream. Um, so you obviously have a lot of Sleeping Beauty themed boxes. Um, and then you have quarter boxes, some checklists and dots. Then you have checklists and more checklists over there. Then you have headers and little things, canceled stickers. Then you have this really pretty washi. I love the bottom washi. Um, and I like that there's two little strips. And then you have cut washi as well. Then you have the really pretty date covers, um, water trackers, habit trackers, bill do's, and some more boxes. And then you have, this is my favorite sheet. I love her I Am Currently boxes. Um, and then you have a, a Monday through Sunday tracker, weekend banner, and a whole bunch of functional deco. Um, so that one was that kit. Then next up, I have the Breakfast at Tiffany's. This one was a mystery kit. I actually have this one and I was planning on using it soon. Um, so I might, this one's in her new premium matte paper. Um, and so I might give that other one to a friend, um, the one that's in the, just the regular matte, because this premium matte is so buttery. Um, all of these stickers are in premium matte, by the way. So um, full boxes, checklists, Headers and little things, washi, functional, and date covers and boxes. Then next up is maybe my favorite one. Um, I love Beauty and the Beast, and so this one is her Beauty and the Beast uh, kit. This one's Belle of the Ball. Love, love, love it. And I love the yellow that she uses in this one because um, yellow is my favorite. Then we have hatters and littles, washi, date covers, a whole bunch of boxes, and more functional. Then we have her little mermaid kit, which is here. I love. I love these ones. This one's really cute. I want to use this this summer for sure. Um, headers, washi, date covers, and functional. Then we have this one, which is like a bubbly romance is what it's called. Um, and this one would be really cute for um, Valentine's Day. I actually already started planning my rewind spread for Valentine's Day, so I might just save this for next year, because um, I think this is really cute. Or maybe I'll use it later in February. I haven't decided quite yet. Because I mean, really you could use it for like non-Valentine's Day as well. Um, so anyways, full boxes, checklists, headers, littles, the really pretty washi. And I love the colors in this kit too. Um, then you have date covers and functional, so very, very cute. Then I have this kit, I don't think she's released in her shop yet, and I've been like waiting to plan um, last week my um, rewind spread because I knew she was sending me this one, um, and I still need to look up like how people use full coverage kits because I've never used a full coverage kit before, um, and so I'm not really sure how to, you know, include everything that I want to without, um, you know, covering stuff up. But I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So this is her 50 Shades of Grey um, kit. And 
this is the deco sheet that came with it. I think it's really cute. And she hand drew all this stuff, which is just, she's amazing, amazing um, artist. Um, but I think this looks really cute. And then you have the kit. So it's three pages. The first two pages um, are like that and they make a scene. Um, and so you have like the washi, like everything kind of fits there. And even like the checklists have like a continuation of the scene behind them. And so I feel like you have to use it all like this. Um, and it's, it's really cute. And then you have a whole bunch of like headers and these are like little um, glitter strips to put in between the boxes, I believe. Um, I need to like get that back in there. I mean, you have like a whole bunch of different icons, but I don't know how to use all these icons without like covering stuff up. So that's why I said I need to like look at people that use full coverage kits and figure out how to do it because I really want to use this kit um, in my memory planner and I'm, I'm going to go back and do it because that was when I went and saw the movie. Um, but yeah, I'm just not exactly sure how to do it, but I will do it. Um, but that was that kit. And like I said, she hasn't released it in her shop yet, but it is coming. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be there by the time you see this video. Um, so just keep watching for it if you are interested in it. And then I have, this was her January mystery kit. So if you don't want to see it, um, this is the last thing that's going to be in this haul. Um, but if you want to stay tuned, feel free. Um, and I think, um, and she had sent this along as well. Um, and it was Sailor Moon themed. And so you had these cute little sticky notes. Um, and I think they're really cute. Uh, she had done sticky notes for what her Harry Potter boxes. And I love those. So this is just another cute one. Then you have this little like, I don't know if it's a, I don't watch Sailor Moon. So, or I haven't yet. Um, so I don't really know if this is like a flower with a pearl or like crystals with a flower or a pearl but I feel like it's probably important I don't know because it's it's in here a lot maybe it's just pretty <laughs> so there's that and um, then you have this little planner um, and it says princess serenity um, it's really cute then you have this little um, freebie um, so when you more order her mystery kits you get like a little freebie with it as well and it has another little um, um, order, um, loyalty card sticker. Um, so that's that one. And then you have this box. It's like a big, um, you know, big box that covers, um, you know, it's not separated in any way, if that makes sense. Um, and then you have some more deco down here, little stars, and then that little flower lotus crystal thing. Um, and then you have a whole bunch of deco sheets and I don't know if these were all exclusive to the kit I feel like she has some of these in her shop right now um too so you have this one um which has a bunch of different characters and this is in the medium and so they're a little bit larger than the um small character size um whereas on like the small you usually get about two of each character um the medium you just get one and then with the tiny you get a bajillion so and there's that and um, then you have this one. She has like a lot of different activities. Like I said, I, on that one freebie sampler, um, I love the one where she's sleeping. I think that one looks really cute, but like shopping and all sorts of other activities. Then you have a whole bunch of other characters in the medium size as well. Then you have uh, just some deco. I love the little bows. I think those are really cute. Um, little wands. Um, then you have this, so there's a monthly kit in here and a weekly kit, um, and so for the monthly kit she included these little stickers so that you could pick the month that you wanted to use it in. I think I might use it in March, I'm thinking, because I only have one kit so far for March, um, and I usually try to do two, one for my memory spread and one for my, um, you know, normal spread, um, normal monthly spread in my current everyday planner. Um, so I think I might use this in my memory spread. Um, which by this time I'm hoping to have actually started watching Sailor Moon so I can appreciate it fully. If not, then I might use it for a different month. Because um, like I said, I I feel like it's it's so pretty and it's piqued my interest. So 
I need to figure out what this is. The Sailor Moon is all about. Um, so then we have the monthly kit. So you have the little um, strips for the top and the date covers. Then you have some little boxes to cover up dates not in the month and they are separated since you can choose what month it is for. Um, obviously um, she's separated them so that you can have more flexibility in what dates you're covering up. Um, then you have some flags, some full boxes, some little checklists for the side, headers for the side, um, dates, and then some little quarter boxes. So very nice two-page kit. Pretty much has everything that I need for doing a, a memory spread. Um, so I think this is gonna be perfect for that. And then we have the weekly kit. So it's another um, full coverage kit, um, like the 50 Shades one was. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, so very cute um, scene. Um, like I said, I just need to figure out how to plan with these. I think this would work best for a memory spread um, for my way of planning because I'm like, I don't want to cover up any of this gorgeous scene or the characters. Like you could probably put some stuff down here pretty easily um, and maybe in some of these other little spaces. But um, yeah, I want, I want, I like these kits. I think they're really pretty and I love the, like the saturation, her paper quality. I mean, everything is just incredible. Um, but I need to figure out how to use this, um, so that I don't cover stuff up, but I still include stuff. Um, and so like I said, I think a memory planner or a memory spread would be perfect for this. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see when I, when I use this. I think it'd be good, um, obviously for a week when I'm watching the show. Um, and then I have uh, the second page that has like the little strips, headers, water trackers, a whole bunch of functional stuff. Um, so very, very cute. Um, but like I said, I need to, I need to get on the Sailor Moon um, boat. And so after the Olympics, this is this will be my show. Um, so anyways, that was like a ginormous, gimongo order from Jalen Paper Co. Um, she absolutely spoiled me with all of the extras she sent. Like there's just, I mean, stacks and stacks of stickers. Um, I don't even know how I'm gonna take a picture of this after this is after this video is over, but I'm like, I still have stuff over on the sides. Um, but that was everything for this haul. Um, I do have a coupon code for um, Jalen Paper Co. down below if you're interested. Any coupon codes I have are down below. Um, but anyways, thank you if you've made it through this entire haul and this entire, just this one order, um, especially because it was quite large. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will just see you in my next video. Bye now.